welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 3.7 and the statement of it is the total number of hours measured in units of 100 hours that a family runs a vacuum cleaner over a period of one year is a continuous random variable x that has the density function okay so once you are given that is random variable given is basically a continuous one so you should keep in your mind that here you will have to use the integration okay so that is the essence of the questions like this one okay so if you have a question like this one this is the probability density function and this is fx it ranges from x in the range of x greater than 0 and less than 1 similarly 2 minus x for the x ranges from x is greater or equal to 1 and less than 2 and 0 elsewhere so how to write it let me write it first okay so here it will be f of x and in terms of the integration as all of these are basically the 100 hours so therefore what i have to write here i have to write from 0 to 1 it will be what it will be x dx okay plus from 1 to 2 it will be 2 minus x okay from 1 to 2 it will be 2 minus x and dx okay and elsewhere it is 0 so therefore no need to write here x. so what do we have to find out find the probability that a over a period of one year a family runs their vacuum cleaner a less than 120 hours okay so i have to solve it here and here i have to write that the hours are less than 120 okay so as we can see here that all of these are are in the units of 100 so therefore what i have to do i have to divide these 120 hours over 100 so at the end what i will get i will get here 1.2 okay so less than 120 means from 0 to 120 okay therefore here the range also lies between 0 to 1.2 okay so now therefore integrating it over this period so f such that x is less than 1.2 now because this is in the range of the 100 hours so therefore it would be from 0 to 1.2 okay and in this range we can very clearly see that in this range we have all these ranges this range also lies here because this is from 0 to 1 this lies here and also this range from 1 to 1.2 because this is now from 1 to 2 so therefore i have to write it all okay so here it would be f of x here or expanding it what i will get here i have to write it 0 to 1 x dx plus similarly from 1 to what 1.2 because now i am not going beyond this 1.2 because all these r's are between 0 to 1 and here it will be 2 minus x dx so now let me solve it and integrating it what i will get here x square divided by 2 and here 0 1 plus here similarly these two are here so here i will get 2x for this one now i am integrating them separately 2 and x are separate where 2 is the constant x is the variable so therefore integrating it with by using the rules of integration here i will get it and it will be from 1 to 1.2 and now minus x square divided by 2 and here it will be from 1 to 1.2 okay so now these are all the ranges let me solve them here and i can very clearly see that it will be 1 by 2 x square by 2 would be 1 square minus 0 square okay similarly here i will have 2x so here 2 will be outside and here i will have 1.2 minus 1 because this is now x and similarly the last one here would be this would be 1 by 2 and here x square which is 1.2 square minus 1 square okay so now let me simplify it it will be 1 by 2 plus 
this will be 2 multiplied by 1.2 minus 1 is this would be 0 0.2 0 0.2 multiplied by 2 is 0 0.4 okay so and here this will be 1.2 square minus 1 square so 1.2 square would be how much let me calculate it first okay so here it will be minus and here this would be 1 by 2 is 0 0.5 here 1.2 whole square would be let me write it here it will be 1 by 2 and 1.2 whole square would be 1.44 similarly minus 1 okay now let me uh, convert them here to decimal so 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4 okay and from it i have to subtract this 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.44 okay so getting it what i will get let me find it out this would be 0 0.22 okay so it would be 0 0.22 okay so now we have these values let me calculate them here and what i will get so it would be 0 0.68 okay so that is what that is the answer of part a which we have here okay so that is what that is the solution of part a in which we have found out the probability that the vacuum cleaner runs less than 120 hours okay so now let me proceed to part b so in part b we have to find the probability that the vacuum cleaner will run between 50 and 100 hours so 50 to 100 hours okay again we have the scale in which we have 100 hours so therefore dividing it over 100 over 100 here as well so what i will get here i will get from 0 0.5 to 1 okay so this is the range of our equation now so now we can see that this range basically lies in this area where this is only x so therefore in order to find it out what i have to write i have to find x such that it ranges in between 0 0.5 to 1 okay so therefore it will be the integration will be from 0 to 0.5 to 1 and this range is here which is x so it would be x dx okay now integrating it what i will get it will be x square divided by 2 and the integration of it would be in the range of 0 0.5 to 1 okay so now let me find it out this would be 1 by 2 and here it would be 1 square minus 0 0.5 square okay so let me solve it and this would be 0 0.5 and this would be 1 and it would be 0 0.5 square is 0 0.25 okay so ultimately it will be 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.75 which will give me the answer 0 0.375 okay so what is this this is the solution of part b of my question which is basically given by this expression and also written here so that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of question 3.7 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon